I built a beacon out of every full block in Hardcore Minecraft. As the video goes on, the blocks get more and more difficult to collect, and the most difficult ones might be a little unexpected. The full beacon is going to consist of 362 different blocks and take up a 19 by 19 area, so it's probably best if I don't try to cram it inside my village. Instead, I'm going to give this old bridge an actual purpose and make a clearing for it on the other side of the river. So I've cleared out this area and extended the path to the building site, but before I start collecting the blocks, I need to build the beacon's core. Now the beacon part. Perfect, now that we have a blank canvas, it's time to start collecting the blocks. I've got a basic plan for how I want to do this, but knowing me, I'll probably get distracted along the way. I'm going to begin by getting all the easy blocks on the surface. Now I could just use all the blocks I have in my storage, but that would be cheating, right? I hope so, because I'm going to get a fresh set of all 362 blocks, starting with grass, birchwood, oak wood, dark oak, spruce, mushroom blocks, and azalea leaves. For the rest of the trees, we're going to have to go on a bit of an adventure, but I should be able to collect some more blocks along the way, like pumpkins. Now, fair warning, when I said I was going to get distracted, this adventure was exactly what I was talking about. I set off to collect each type of wood, but by the time I returned home, I had collected almost every block from the surface. Just know that the rest of the block collecting will be more organized into specific categories. You know what, this will give me a head start on some of the nether blocks and some stone blocks I'll need later. There's the bee nest. I'll get a few more for the honey and wax I'm gonna need. That's acacia wood. That's powdered snow. Uh, powdered snow? Wait, it's powder snow? I swear everyone calls it powdered. Snow block. Don't mind me just passing through. I'll just kelp myself. Yeah, that's for later. Mangrove leaves, mangrove wood, roots, mud, muddy roots, jungle wood, jungle leaves, melon brock, bamboo for scaffolding, and my personal favorite, beans. I think I'm gonna head back now. Gold block, terracotta, cacti, sand, red sand, time for some more borrowing, barrel, oh dude, nice house, smooth stone, cartography table, okay, now I'll actually start going back. And the last block of the trip, moss. Now I can finally start placing them. As I go, I'm keeping track of each one I place with a checklist I made of all 362 blocks. Otherwise, this project would be a complete mess. Let's get started. Wait, how am I going to... Okay, that's a problem for later. That's 79 blocks placed already. I have a few left over, but I'm going to save them until I have the rest of the blocks that go with them. Next, I'm going to get all the nether blocks except for ancient debris and the netherite block. Those are more difficult to get, so they'll be at the top of the beacon. There's glowstone, quartz, soul sand, soul soil, basalt, bone blocks, gold, all the crimson forest blocks, all the bastion blocks, fortress blocks, and warped forest blocks. So that's all the easy blocks from the nether. I'm just going to craft up the different variations of them and... That's 123 blocks complete. Now I want to fill in this gap with some of the utility blocks. Admittedly, not all of these are full blocks. For some reason, I thought you could collect the infested stone blocks with silk touch, but I was wrong, so I needed to call in some of the backup blocks that didn't quite make the starting lineup. For the third row, I'm going to get all the different kinds of color blocks, starting with dyed wool, dyed glass, concrete powder, concrete, terracotta, and glazed terracotta. That was a lot of blocks. 97 to be exact, which means we only have 129 left. Before I get into the more dangerous and difficult blocks, I want to quickly finish the rest of the surface blocks that I missed earlier. Here's Podzel, Packed Ice, Regular Ice. Nice. Mycelium, Honey, more Red Sand because I forgot about Red Sandstone, 
and two of these coral blocks. Perfect, time to place them all. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I thought that might work. The cactus block just isn't cooperating, so I've exiled it from the list, and the grindstone has taken its place. There's the coral done, podzel, mycelium, and all the snow-related blocks. Now it's finally time to get all the cave blocks. There's coal, iron, diorite, or like dire wrong, am I right? Emerald, copper, flowering azalea, dripstone, regular azalea, go away. Clay, granite, andesite, gold. Uh, that wasn't soak touch. Let's try this again. Gold, lapis, redstone, tough, deep slate gold, deep slate lapis, deep slate iron, regular deep slate, oh. Deep slate diamond, and deep slate redstone. So that just leaves us with normal diamond, deep slate copper, deep slate coal, and the most rare ore in the game, deep slate emerald. There's the copper and the diamond. Whoa! I just couldn't find this deep slate coal anywhere. I got so desperate I was even searching under the normal coal. And so I finally stumbled across some. For the deep slate emeralds, I decided to go back up to the surface and dig down directly through a mountain until I reached deep slate. I did a little strip mining until I ran into a cave, and after a little exploring, I finally found it. Now I just need to use the extra ores I mined to make the full blocks of ore and make all the different deep slate blocks. Before I place them, I'm going to fill this gap with some of the other random blocks like bricks, grindstone, jukebox, note block, cauldron, azalea, and flowering azalea. And now would probably be a good time to start oxidizing the copper. Let's fill in some more blocks. There's the regular ores, deep slate ores, raw ores. I'm going to leave a gap here for all the copper blocks. That's the full ore blocks, and finally the deep slate blocks. Now we're headed somewhere dangerous, or at least it was dangerous before I ransacked the place. Speaking of ransacking, and that's the deep dark blocks. While I'm in the area, I'm going to need some of this. And some of this. Alright, so I've got this shulker full of assorted blocks that need placed, so... I just realized that the farmland needs to go at the bottom of the beacon, so I'm swapping it with gravel. Okay, I can't listen to these screams anymore, I'm just gonna place this one at the end. And now there's just 29 blocks remaining. We still need the end blocks, ocean monument blocks, ancient debris, netherite block, beacon, and three blocks that are somehow more time consuming to get than all of those. I'm gonna knock the end blocks out first because they're by far the easiest. So I forgot to mark which end gateway I used before I opened all the other ones, but I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one. Just a quick... And that's it. I'm not doing any shulker boxes because they count as entities and they have a lower render distance than the rest of the blocks on the beacon. Oh my gosh. Now you probably noticed I'm wearing diamond armor. Long story short, I wasn't paying attention to the durability of my netherite armor when I was fighting Enderman last episode, so before I raid an ocean monument, I need to do some enchanting. And to make things easier, I'm going to take this little enchanting setup and move it here. Alright, let's go. That wasn't so bad, and the copper is ready too. Let me just add it to the beacon. Perfect. I'm gonna place all the remaining blocks together after I get the netherite so I can organize them better. 
I need 1 ancient debris as a block, 4 to make a lodestone, and 36 for the netherite block. I'd also like to get a few extra so I can get my full netherite armor back, so uh... After about 2 hours, I managed to get 59 debris, which was more than enough for the blocks and my armor. And boom, I don't think I've ever had another right block before. And there's the lodestone. Time to place all these blocks. It appears I've made another miscalculation. Porous flower needs to be placed on endstone, so... Crisis averted. Now there are just five blocks remaining. There's the beacon, the glass block that will go on top of the beacon, and if you haven't figured it out already, the final three blocks are... The frog light blocks. Getting all three variants of frog light was a three hour process. First I traveled 5,000 blocks to the mangrove swamp, bred a bunch of frogs, and stole their babies. Then I took those babies to three different locations of the map and raised them as my own. Once I had all three variants of the frogs, I gathered my children together, took them to the basalt delta in the nether, where I fed them the baby magma cubes. Let me just place these down. Cool, and the final block is the beacon itself. For some reason, the audio for this recording went missing, but I've recreated it to the best of my abilities. I used the skulls to fight two withers, crafted the beacon, and here we have it, the final blocks. I'll place the shrieker down first, it's not like you guys can hear it anyways. Now the beacon, and the glass block on top of it. I think this actually lined up perfectly above where my mine is, so haste 2 would be perfect. Totally planned that. And I really like how this build turned out. I guess the only thing left to do now is just... <laughs> 